Guy Verhofstadt has launched a stunning attack on the UK government and ordered Boris Johnson to pay EU workers to stay in the UK ahead of new Brexit rules coming into force. The UK finally left the European Union on the 31st of December and took back control of its money, law and borders. Freedom of movement between the UK and Europe also ended and EU citizens have less than 6 months to apply to remain in the UK under the EU settlement scheme. Use. Almost 5 million EU citizens have already applied to stay in Britain. And the Belgian MEP has demanded the UK government does more, including funding their residents. His comments came after it emerged the Home Office is providing up to £2,000 in support for those who do not wish to stay in the UK under the voluntary return scheme. Writing on Twitter, Mr. Verhofstadt said, their loss is our gain. The sensible step would be to pay EU workers to stay, not leave. This UK government still does not understand the positive contribution EU citizens can make to Britain. The remarks by the Archerophile have triggered a backlash on social media, with users pointing out this had nothing to with him and the UK government was just providing another option for citizens. One user wrote, it is not your business anymore. You don't get this. In response, a second added, don't understand the outrage. This is sensible and supportive from the government. The UK is now outside of the EU so let EU nationals choose if they want to remain or go back into EU countries. Meanwhile, a third added, providing financial support to EU workers who decide they don't want to apply for EU status is the responsible thing to do. It's not an incentive to leave. It is supporting those who decided they want to leave, ensuring they have the means to travel and set up in the EU. According to the latest figures, 4.9 million European citizens have applied to the EU settlement scheme ahead of the 30th of June deadline. More than 4.4 million applications have come from England, 243,600 from Scotland, 80,700 from Wales and 78,500 from Northern Ireland. In December alone there were 402,300 new applications to the scheme as people applied before the end of the Brexit transition period. Successful applicants will then be granted either settled status or pre-settled status based on how long they have lived in the UK. Settled status is usually granted to those who have lived in the UK for a continuous 5 year period and are then eligible to apply for British citizenship. Under both statuses citizens have the right to live in the UK and are granted access to public services, such as the NHS and education. A Home Office spokesman said, some people may choose not to obtain status under use and may not wish to remain in the UK after the deadline. That is why we have written to stakeholders to inform them that EEA nationals who wish to leave the UK may now be eligible for support to help them do so under the voluntary return scheme.